Hi guys, this is Mary, and today I'm going to show you how to make this little mini album out of the envelopes you get in junk mail. Uh, I'm using seven envelopes for my little album, and as you can see, I've started decorating it. Still got a ways to go, so I've got some more journaling and things. But this is a very inexpensive little album to make. It costs practically nothing because you can use uh, scraps that you have left over from other albums or scrapbooking or cards and it doesn't take much at all. I embellished the front of mine with this little tree because it's family pictures like for a family tree uh, and this was cut from Stretch Your Imagination, the little tree there and I used buttons instead of the little apples that it comes with it and this is half of a frame from Stretch Your Imagination. It says a family is a special blessing and inside I've started decorating still got a ways to go though so let me show you how we put this together you want to take your envelopes and they need to all be the same size because when they send you this junk mail some of your envelopes are shorter some are longer these envelopes that I am using today are 8 and 7 8 by 3 and 7 8 and the first thing you want to do is take a damp sponge and I sealed mine up now if you don't want to seal it you just tuck your flap in and then when you put your paper on the inside like I've covered the whole inside of mine you would just put your paper down about you know below where the flap is but I wanted mine sealed then you want to take your envelope and fold it in half and you want to get a good crease so use your bone folder and I've already started gluing some together and you can see how it makes the pages but I'm just taking uh, one of these two-way glue pens, the chubby one and make sure all your envelopes go in the same direction and just put down your glue and you want to get it as close to the edge as you can and work as quickly as you can so that you'll have a permanent bond and just line up your edges and keep gluing these down very simple you can see how quickly it goes this glue does dry very quickly though so you want to work as fast as you can this uh, first one I did I used Elmer's glue and it was just too wet this is much better and it took it forever to dry okay put the cap back on so this won't dry out now you can see we have the pages for our album now for the cover, because my envelopes were 8 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, I cut my cover at 9 and a half by 4 and a quarter. And you want to score it. I've already scored this, but I'll show you. You make a score at 4 and 9 sixteenths, and you can just lay this right there and go down the channel of your trimmer. That's at 4 and 9 sixteenths and then at four and seven eighths you want to go down there again and this will make the spine for your little album because you need that extra width right there to allow for your pages now we're going to glue the inside in and it's going to be the same thing we're going to cover it really well with glue as far out to the edge as you can get it and go ahead and put some in the middle too. Your cover is a little bit bigger. That's hard for me to see that score line. There we go. So line the edge up with your first score line.
and put your glue on this side. And just simply bring that over. To the back and line that one up. Then you kind of have to take it and square it up. And you can see now that allows in there for your uh, pages. And there you have it. Very simple, inexpensive little book. Something else I did with mine too is because I just love to have some kind of ribbon on mine is I opened it up and I took some little gingham, gingham ribbon and dropped down through there and tied it in a bow on the side. But it's very simple now. Um, just open it up and uh, measure so you'll know what size to cut your inside and cover your pages and add some cute little embellishments and there you go. You got a great little album and it costs practically nothing. I just think that's the neatest thing and it's recycling. So have a great day everybody and thanks for stopping in. I'll see you next time.